Hello YouTube, this is Magnolia Mo and you are watching my channel. In today's video, uh, I'm going to explore uh, the addition of front wides into my uh, existing 7.2.4 setup, right? Uh, do front wides make a difference you know, when it comes to overall uh, experience? Uh, do, is there enough physical media or streaming media available that uses the, the wide channels? uh in in within the surround mix um i've heard or actually i've read and um and, and i've i've heard this popular opinion about disney movies uh, only being mixed you know using seven speakers right um uh, and uh, like a 7.1.4 uh basically uh, mix and uh, so i want to actually tackle that too in this video uh, so what i did right um to set up this uh um this uh this 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 process or this project right it took it took a while but uh it was to add um two front wides um what i did was i went on audioadvice.com uh, and put in this the specifications of my theater and it basically the 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 tool on their site is excellent in my opinion um, it gave me you know where the speakers need to be located how far from the front and how far from the rear they need to be located um, in in the room so i did that and you're going to see where they're located um, so uh, after that i have an extra um, uh, two channel rust sound amplifier uh, which i'm going to use to to run just the wide so i'm going to turn off uh, my um, my bed uh, layer right the front the, the the front left right center uh surrounds and surround backs uh and then the you know my 3d layer which is uh your four in my own four in ceiling speakers uh right now uh, i'm going to turn off all of that and just going to play movies uh with the wides to see what type of activity is going on in those wide channels um and then for content um I uh, I picked four movies completely random. I just went through my li library and <clears throat> and just went okay. So this this might be a good this to try uh, in in a in a nine point two point four setup uh, and and then one so four at complete completely random movies. But I did try to make sure there was a mix of Dolby Atmos, DTS X, and IMAX enhanced uh, DTS <clears throat> track in those movies, right? Um, and then, um, and then, and then my fifth movie I picked on purpose, um, and you'll see um, it, it is Gravity. Uh, no secrets there, because uh, I, I am pretty sure that movie utilizes all of the speakers, you know, uh, in in your system. Whether if if you have a five channel setup, seven channel setup, uh, seven with four four, um, you know, Atmos speakers, nine speakers, you know, your bed layer for nine. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure. I was pretty sure, and then I confirmed it, you know, with the tests that uh, that probably is the only movie that is out there that makes excellent use um, uh, of the 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 wides, right? So I, I I picked that one just to just for hahas in the end because it was it was it was a given. But the other four were uh, totally random, um, and and w what I um, ended up selecting was No Time to Die. Um, it is a Dolby Atmos uh, mix, and it's uh, it's a static mix. Um, I wanted to see in in that particular uh, movie uh, how you know if if I'm gonna hear anything from the wides. Um, and then I also actually started. I started. It was six movies, so I started with a Quiet Place, the first one, um, and that movie was quiet. I mean, there was literally nothing going on uh, in in the wides, um, and um, so I didn't use that for this video because it was kind of a pointless um, <laughs> deal. Um, at least in the scenes that that I'm used to watching in the in the first one, right? That that have good surround uh, channel activity and Atmos activity. I didn't hear anything. Uh, but then uh, the other one uh, was Ex Machina, which is a DTS uh, X mix, uh, and Bad Boys for Life, uh, which is an IMAX enhanced uh, DTS mix. Um, Avengers Endgame. I picked a Disney movie because. Uh, of uh, uh, this um, this belief out there, uh, and you know that that Disney movies um, are mixed in seven point one point four 
you know, uh, using the seven speaker bed layer, uh, using the seven bed layer uh, speakers and uh, four Atmos. So I wanted to confirm that uh, with the Avengers Endgame and then obviously Gravity. Uh, and then two other movies, I wanted to see how wides do with music, right? So I, I couldn't, you know, I can't play uh, music, you know, actual music content, uh, you know, that I have in surround. Uh, some of my multi-channel discs uh, and even my some you know some of my concert discs uh, because of copyright um, strikes. So I picked two Bollywood movies. Hopefully, I don't get a uh, copyright strike in that. But uh, uh, if you know if and and those were excellent in my opinion, and as you will um, see it and hear it uh, in my demos. Uh, and that's it. So that's about it. So from a setup standpoint, okay. So let's uh, let's get on with it. Let me let me show you guys what I found in each of these movies. All right. All right. So the first scene <clears throat> that I put on was uh, from No Time to Die, and it is scene seven. And um, uh, I, I think this particular scene makes the best use of our wide channels in my opinion so so only the heights and wides are playing and my subs obviously what is this spectre bunga bunga you never made your party like this how do you think i got this job so don't get distracted now remember we're looking for the four scientist i'm seeing a lot of spectre agents and this is this this uh, this actual effect, like with the dialogues, is actually more pronounced and louder with the whites, because the sound, the dialogue is actually coming uh, from the the Atmos in ceiling speakers and my whites at this particular juncture. Friend of yours? See, it's pretty loud. Paloma, well, I know you're busy, but the curtain's about to come down on this one. I can get a car. What do you need us? then scene three this one right here the explosion and the actually actually the after effect of the explosion when the you hear it for yourself this actually enhances the overall sound uh, field because it adds the wides to the mix This is Ex Machina, so in this one, right from the beginning of the movie, I mean the wides, I'm only playing the wides, the bed layer and uh, our Atmos uh, amp is off, just the the wide speakers playing off of the uh, Rassand two channel amp. And uh, listen for yourself, I mean this is right from the get go, this is DTSX Master Audio and uh, See? Same thing in, in scene three. Next one. 
next up is Bad Voice for Life. Uh, obviously, this is DTS X Master Audio, but uh, with an IMAX enhanced stream. All right, Bad Boys for Life, scene 11. Um, actually, this has quite a few scenes, but this is scene 11 without the D DTS Neural X turned on. With the DTS DTS Neural, Neural X turned on, uh, the wides are uh, a lot more active, but without the Neural X turned on, they are still very active. So take a listen. The sounds panning left to right, right to left. And you heard the grenade like kind of bounce on the street as well. Scene 14. I mean, this is uh, uh, the, the wides are very active without the neural X turned on. So take a listen, especially this uh, la the effect that the when the heli helicopter comes down crashing. only the wides And finally, Avengers Endgame in Dolby Atmos. I wanted to try a Disney movie to see how the wides pan out. Scene 16, Thanos' return. <clears throat> well, all is quiet <laughs> in the wide channels. Or I should say all is quiet on the wide forefront. Truly a 7.1.4 mix, as has been noted by many others. All right, I take that back. So scene 17, Avengers Assemble. Uh, there's some cheese ball, you know, effects in your wide speakers, mostly from, uh, you know, the cannons that are coming, that are raining down. Um, that's that's all I've really heard in the action sequences in, in this particular movie. Take a listen. Okay, so for the finale, I decided to put something on um, that I know has great use of wide speakers and it's gravity. So... Let's get on with this one. Explore. Repeat. Expect a communication blackout at any moment. Copy that, Houston. Explore. This is Kowalski confirming visual contact. Debris. Debris is from a BSE sat. To repeat, I have. Dr. Silver requesting copy transfer. Community reports meteorological Explore. Dr. Stone requesting faster transport to. And, and it actually sounds panning from right to left. More left to right.
All right, so I hope you guys um, it got what I was actually experiencing during those demos, right? So starting with, with No Time to Die, um, it does have a very static uh, Dolby Atmos mix. So pretty much, you know, there's a few scenes, you know, where, where the overheads uh, are active and, and it's, uh, it's the scene, scene seven that I, I played. Uh, the, the wides were very active to my surprise. I did not expect them uh, to be that active during that movie and, and, and they were, and they actually enhanced the overall experience. Um, they added more, uh, you know, from a, uh, you know, from the overhead dialogue in that in, in those scenes, right, where you actually hear them overhead. Uh, the use of the wides enhances the overall um, uh, the output level of the dialogue. So actually, it's more uh, discernible. It's more it's more it's clearer uh, than just using the 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 uh, you know your Atmos setup. Now, if the wides weren't there that you know that those dialogues then are heard uh, in your fronts uh, and with all of the other stuff that's going on in those scenes they kind of get drowned out right this kind of separated that dialogue you know and isolated them um, uh, in 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 my my atmos speakers and the wides uh, and then for ex machina i mean the movie is 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 slow but it's it's a very uh, it's a soundtrack you know driven uh, movie uh, the musical score is great in that movie, uh, and the DTSX soundtrack is one of my favorites in that movie. Um, and for that movie, you know, when I engaged the Neural X, the DTS Neural X processing, uh, the wides became way more active uh, than what I was expecting, right? Um, and then, so I, I disengaged them, and they were still active. Uh, disengage the neural x processing and they were still still pretty active in that movie so 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 for for music i knew going in that i'm gonna hear music in in the wides and that confirmed um that piece and then uh for uh bad boys for life thx uh, not thx <laughs> imax enhanced imax enhanced i think that was a freudian slip but imax enhanced dts uh, x uh, track um that very active uh, throughout the movie all of the action sequences uh you know have have activity in the in the in the wides uh they actually and you know that that scene where the grenade is bouncing on on the street you actually hear it again more cle clearly uh because of those two added channels otherwise it gets mixed into to the rest of your speakers um avengers endgame no surprise i mean movie was very quiet uh <laughs> In, in 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 the wide so at one point i thought okay man you know the, the saying that that uh, disney movies are really only mixed uh, uh you know with uh, uh you know with seven channels and four overhead speakers uh was true but then uh you know until that one scene when when i when i started hearing activity um i think it's avengers assemble uh where i started hearing activity it, it was it was sort of a gimmicky you know effect uh, that was going on so it wasn't discreet right what i call discreet is what you hear uh in no time to die uh or in um um my, the the next one right which uh, which was gravity gravity has discreet sound effects uh in your in your wides um ex machina had dec discreet you know musical notes in your wides and and no time to die had uh, had some you know good uh discrete effects right it, with with the uh, wides playing in conjunction with uh, with uh, the atmo speakers so 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 from from a you know discrete use you're not just like up mixed then you just hear a few sounds here and there uh, I, I think the 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 best movies b movie i in my you know so far in this particular um demo uh you know was was gravity because it had actual uh you know dialogue or, or sounds or music and, and effects uh, that were isolated to to the wides right so and, and it actually adds more uh, more 3d uh, uh, effect uh, you know as far as sound is concerned because you can you can uh, follow the character you know and their voice from speaker to not from speaker to speaker but like in your room right without the wides they kind of you know the sound kind of gets gets uh, uh, either stays in the front uh in certain cases or in the surrounds in certain cases not in in between 
uh, like it did in one of the scenes that I demoed. And then uh, finally, for the Bollywood mixes, the the music, you know, the musical score uh, and and the music, uh, you know, added m you know more enjoyment, more more fun, right, in into that whole experience. So, um, you know, how how do I summarize, you know, all of this, right? Um, I mean. Can you can you live or can you go without wides? I guess the the question is the answer is yes, hundred percent. You don't necessarily need wides. Um, what if you had them? Or what if you have a room where you can install them? Uh, you know, and they're out of the way. Uh, yeah, by all means, you can add those. Uh, you know, your wides. Not that every single movie is gonna uh, uh, you know have sound sound playing off of your from your wides. Um, you know, but but that's true for Atmos as well. Like you know, we are always uh, you know in this search, right? You know, there there is a uh, there are these TV uh, these shows on CNN. Uh, you know, searching for Mexico, searching for Italy, right? We are always searching for Atmos uh, in es in essence. Uh, and and some you know it's always a hit or miss. Some movies have have good activity in 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 the overhead channels. Other movies are literally dead. Very little happens, um, other than a few ambience uh, ambience uh, you know sounds and 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 notes, right? Uh, so it's same principle with the wides. Uh, you know, in my opinion, they're not always used, but in certain in movies where they're used, you know, they it, it could be effective. So so you know, do you do you do you, is it a must to have wides? No. Do you need him? Maybe not. Do you, you know, can you have him? Absolutely. <laughs> you can add them to your system. Um, but then, you know, you're talking about a processor that can, that can do, you know, 13 channels. Um, you're, you're talking extra amplifiers. You're talking extra speakers. So it adds costs, right? Because processors that, that, that uh, you know, that will do 13 channels are, uh, you know, they're they're costly they're expensive um and then to add to that uh, the cost on uh, you know for amplifiers and then the cost for speakers right so it does get pricey so it's not for everybody in my opinion uh but you know in this like doing this little experiment right uh, uh to me kind of proved one thing right um if if you have the ability uh to integrate wides in your system um then by all means because it does enhance uh, the overall experience. Okay. Now, again, I go back to the, the, the most important question. Do you, is it a must? No. Do you need them? No. Can you have them? Yes. Right. So nobody needs wides. Um, but if you want them, go for it. Um, you're not, it's not going to be that they're, they're going to be dead. You know, most of the time It's going to be the same thing as we experience with Atmos. Uh, in some movies, they're very active. Other movies, you know, your your Atmos speakers are uh, uh, nothing happens. Uh, so, so I think wides will be more active, especially with DTS tracks. If you uh, engage Neural X and you you enjoy it more. All right. So I hope you uh, like this video, and I and and I I hope you um uh you know you if you are not subscribed to my channel, you know I I hope you can subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, share the video. Uh, and uh, I look forward to coming back with uh, more videos such as this. Uh, leave me some comments down below. If you want me to test other things, other movies, I'll be happy to do that and, and post them uh, on, on my channel. All right. Until next time.